the historic Lloyd's Theatre in Springfield, Missouri. It is your host, Mystery Jeff Ponta! How are you guys doing? Yeah! Good! Hooray! <laughs> hey, we have a great show for you guys tonight. You know who's here? The PA voice of the US Open and all kinds of other tennis things. He's a big deal. Andy Taylor is here. <laughs> we also have the music of the Justice Adams Band. And we also have some great friends who have an organization called Feed One that help children around the world. We love them so much, we made a commercial for them. Have a look. You know, the mock turtle next to the only article of clothing that in the name describes how you'll be treated while wearing it. Some people say you can tell if a woman has had plastic surgery by looking at her hands. I say you can tell by looking at her plastic surgery. You know it's impossible to sound intimidating while saying the word mittens. Did you know you can feed one child a month for just $10 with Feed One? Truth. 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 It's also a fragrance. Fragrance? I said fragrance. Hey, uh... We need to turn it over to someone else who talks better. Dave Smith's over here. He's my sidekick and announcer. Yeah. Yeah. How's your week been, Dave? It's been fantastic. What did you do on Tuesday? Tuesday? <laughs> Came here to work. Wrote some stuff. Had some good times. We had that pizza. Uh -huh. That's right. Me and you went to that place for the pizza that time. Uh -huh. Uh-huh. Good times. <laughs> okay, that's good. that's good. Let's do things I've noticed. These things I've noticed. These things I've noticed. Yeah. Yeah. These things I've noticed. These things I've noticed, yeah. Yeah. These things I've noticed. Hey. Sorry for that trance we put you in with that song. It's not available on iTunes. These are things I've noticed. You're getting loopy. I've noticed that all of our fingers have fancy names. Thumb, ring, middle, pointer, pinky. Then Dr. Body Part Namer got to the toes and said, uh, big toe, I don't care. I've noticed that neighbors are weird. I say I'm giving them a generous fertilizer donation. They say I'm flinging dog poo into their yard using a toy shovel. <laughs> I've noticed that I raise my hand whenever someone asks, where are my party people at? But I don't think I'm what they have in mind. I've noticed that you can determine the niceness of your neighborhood by the willingness of your neighbors to park their cars in their lawn. <laughs> oh yeah, sure, okay. I've noticed, I've noticed that there's a certain level of tired on a road trip where I vocalize every billboard I see. <laughs> Everyone does that. And finally, I've noticed that I'm not saying all mustachioed men are stalkers, but all stalkers are mustachioed. <laughs> things I've noticed. These things I've noticed. These things I've noticed. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. You guys, it is time to play America's favorite game. What's in the box? What's in the box? That's right. 
I have Sarah over here. What we're going to do is we are going to, she will lift up a box. We will uh, see a ball under there, and the contestant has to identify the ball as quickly as they can. When they get to this box, it's not a ball. <laughs> It's a man. So uh, we'll be getting a contestant out here momentarily, and Sarah will be lifting up the box. They'll be going as fast as they can, and uh, we'll see if they can, how fast it will go. It's going to be really neat. Sarah has been practicing her hovering around a box <laughs> maneuvers. So our first contestant will be out here momentarily. Here he is, all right. How are you doing, sir? What's your name? Very well. My name is uh, Jared. Jared. All right. Very good, Jared. What you're going to be doing is you're going to be, Sarah will lift up a box. You have to identify it as fast as you can. Okay? Uh, that sound good? Let's sounds come on good. over here. Okay. All right. We're going to uh, start the timer now. Go. Ball. Got, what kind of ball? What kind of ball? Basketball. Basketball. Uh, soccer ball. Soccer ball. Football. Yeah. Ah, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Head. That's a head. Head. Good job, Jared. You're done. That's it. That was the whole point. Just scaring people. That was great. That was great. That was great. That was great. Okay. All right. Our next contestant will be coming out momentarily. All right. How you doing, sir? Good. How are you? Good. What's your name? Dustin. Dustin? Yes. All right. Very good. What's going to happen here is Sarah will lift up a box. You have to identify what type of ball it is as fast as you can. Ball? Ball. What Deal. type of ball? And uh, the first contestant went through really fast. All right? Here we go. On your marks, get set, go. Basket. Soccer. Foot. Ah! <laughs> uh, crazy. Ball. A crazy ball. A crazy ball. That was it. <laughs> it's hard to tell if he won or lost. All right, very good. What's going to happen in this round is uh, we are not going to use this. Sarah is providing me with a baseball bat, and this contestant will identify the ball and then hit it into the crowd. All right, uh, Sarah, what's your name? Uh, Chance. Chance. All right, very good. Uh, Chance, uh, what you're going to be doing here is we're going to lift up a box. You have to identify the ball as fast as you can. Right after you identify it, uh, just go ahead and hit it with this bat into the audience. Okay. Okay? Great. Uh, Sarah, here you go. All right. Um, so, are you ready? <laughs> Look out. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> here we go. Just go ahead and uh, just whack it. Okay. Okay. On your mark. Get set. Go. Uh, basketball. Uh, soccer ball. Uh, football. Head. Everything smells like ketchup. <laughs> so anyway, let's move on. Uh, we do have a great guest tonight. We also have a great guest sponsor. Well, that's right, Big Whiskies. They are a place that has all kinds of things that you can eat. And then sometimes they have things you can drink. Sometimes you can do both. <laughs> All right, our guest tonight is the PA voice of the U.S. Open. He's also the voice of Davis Cup, FedEx Cup. There's a lot of really neat things. Give it up for Andy Taylor. Are we playing? Are we? No, it's over. It's over. It's oh, over. it's over? It's over. Oh, man. 
I was hoping we were going to get to play a little what's in the box. <laughs> Fine. Uh, I was going to pat you on the back, but I'm pretty sure I have ketchup on my hands. Yeah, I believe it. God, it was bloody up here. Everybody yeah. okay? All right. That's how it goes. <laughs> Just remember, if things aren't going well, I have this under my desk. Now, wait a minute. I want to, everybody, I want you to see this bat. Look at this. I don't know if you get a close-up of this. All-star wedding team, Jeff Houghton. <laughs> That's a good groomsman gift is what that is. <laughs> and this was for you, not your wife. Yes, it's, it's for me. It's All right. for me. Well, She's certainly chased me with it. But. <laughs> All right. Um, you might be the best dressed guest we've had on. Yet. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Well, I mean, this is, a, this is a real late night talk show, so I thought it important that I look the part and come in prepared. So yeah. I, yeah. You are nothing if not prepared. <laughs> I'm nothing. <laughs> Now, uh, people don't necessarily know you as the voice of the U.S. Tennis Open around here. Yeah. They know you as the guy from KTTS, the, yeah, for the morning show. Yeah, for a decade I hosted uh, the morning show at KTTS. And for a decade? Yeah. Ask me if I miss it. Do you miss it? I don't know anybody in radio who's graduated from it who says, I miss it. <laughs> I know. Because it's hard work. You've got to be there every day. You're right. I, abs I, I miss getting up at 3 o'clock in the morning, <laughs> driving 25 minutes to work, Setting up for the show, doing four half-hour broadcasts, doing commercials and all that. No, I really adored it. I, I loved the job. I loved yeah. the responsibility that was associated with it uh, here in Springfield. But the hours were just killer. Yeah, you know? at a certain point, it's nice to move on. Yeah, well, my commute has changed. It's no longer a 25-minute drive into Springfield. It's put on a pair of underwear and go into the office next door. You know, I mean, go, go to the next room in the house. Uh, and I, hear, I understand you live uh, next door to a State Farm office? That's, that's right, yeah. So you just go into someone's office with, in your underwear? Yeah, it doesn't matter what office it is. Yeah. Yeah. Find an office, take your clothes off, go in there. And I've learned, I've learned that the underwear part is very important. Sure. Very important. <laughs> Legally. Yeah. Legally speaking. Yeah. So you get out of radio, but you're like, man, I still have this awesome voice. I need to use it. <laughs> how did, right. How did you, I mean, how did, how did you get hooked up with the U.S. Open? Well, the U.S. Open happened while I was at KTTS. And for yeah. years, I would broadcast from the U.S. Open, you know, right there in Arthur Ashe Stadium and do the morning show there. Really? So that's segued, now that I'm out of broadcasting, into other tennis events because I'm no longer tethered to a daily broadcast. So, right. You know, this year I, I had the opportunity to do a couple of tennis events in Doha, Qatar. Anybody from Qatar? Okay. No, no. Anybody know where Qatar is? Yeah. Yeah, yeah uh, it's one of the few words that doesn't require a Q-U, right? Sure, we're going to go with that. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't it's a Scrabble that. word. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so you, you go from U.S. Tennis Open to Qatar, like, so... And you are, tell everyone what your responsibilities are as the PA well, voice. Well, at the U.S. Open, you know, you're right, I'm, I'm the PA voice. You're basically the voice of the event. So when mm -hmm. you're bringing players on and off the court, you're the one introducing them like it's a boxing match or sure. whatever. Because I know a lot of you attend tons of tennis events, don't you? <laughs> um, but it, it's similar to that. And then when I do these other events for the ATP, which is the men's tour or the WTA, the ladies tour, mm -hmm. you're more of an on-court MC where you're out talking to the players after they win a match. You're making a, cool, a fun event on top of the tennis. Making it a fan experience, yeah. yeah. It, in fact, one of the things that I absolutely love about the U.S. Open is, you know, not only will I bring the players on the court, but during the match, during a sit-down, because, you know, after every two games, you need 60 seconds to sit down and drink water. Um, <laughs> uh, I'll run up into the stands with a camera and a microphone, and, you know, you've got 23,000 people there. Oh, you really? find somebody in the back row, or it's already pre-selected, somebody's ticket, yeah. and we give away trips to Dubai and really? heavenly beds from Weston and stuff like that. So it's, it, that's what I really love about it is yeah. creating the fan experience and making it fun. Yeah, I can see you being good at that. And I have, uh, when I've watched the US Open, I've listened for you. Like, you can still, you can hear you on the broadcast. Occasionally, it sounds a little... <laughs> Like that. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, it is weird when you hear your own voice, you know, yeah. like recorded. Yeah. That's what you sound like. Your own voice recorded. No, I sound like you when you're recorded. Yeah. Yes. I know. <laughs> I have nightmares about that. <laughs> I do. I'll be in the middle of doing something at the U.S. Open. I'm, like, I'm on the mystery hour. <laughs> what is this? It's like it's like because you were on the show several years ago before we were on TV. Right. It's a little bit like Nam. Once you do it, you kind of have flashbacks. Yeah. It is. <laughs> So you also, 
<laughs> right, right. It's an experience. So you also, not only that, but uh, you're doing the Price is Right in Branson, the live yeah, Price is the Right? Yeah, Price is Right live. We've been doing it for two years now. We've got a new location. We're going to be at the Moon River Theater, the Andy Williams Moon, Moon River Theater. Eight o'clock shows, starts up late May. We'll run through the first week of August. And it's so much fun because typically you go to a Branson show and you kick back and watch something for... 75 minutes and then mm -hmm. sit through 15 minutes intermission where they try and sell you something you go back watch a little more get in the truck go home mm -hmm. with the price is right i mean it's straight through it's all of your favorite games you get to come yeah. on down you have an opportunity to potentially win a car you know it's it's a lot of fun yeah that's really neat you yeah. do i so with your kind of freedom of not being tethered to a studio every morning you're taking your you're taking advantage of it and doing a variety of different things. Yeah, I mean, originally when I got out of radio, I thought, hey, you know, I'll have a career in voiceover, and I'll, I, I just get out of bed, go into the studio in the next room, and, and uh, read copy for a living. But that's, yeah. that's difficult to get into. So all these other uh, events have come along, and I've had an opportunity to do them and, and work with people like, you know, Jerry Springer doing The Price is Right Live, which is insane. You have to check that out. He's going to be doing several of these shows this year. So That's cool. Yeah, it's neat. That's really neat. So um, we, we want to take advantage of your voice. Oh, OK. And uh, we want to hear you say things that announcers don't normally say. Fantastic. I'm up to the challenge. So uh, we have uh, different lyrics from popular songs. And I would like you to say them in your announcer voice. Announcer voice. Yes. Like I'm bringing somebody on the court Yep. at the US Open. Please do. <clears throat> My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. And they're like, it's better than yours. <laughs> oh, darn right, it's better than yours. I can teach you, but I have to charge. <laughs> I got to say, the first part definitely sounded like an announcer. The last part was kind of creepy. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I got back into that State Farm underwear role. <laughs> the state, I want someone to be tuning in just now just to hear that. The State Farm underwear role. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, yeah, do this one. Please. <clears throat> I got the eye of the tiger, a fighter, dancing through the fire, because I'm a champion, and you're going to hear me roar. Oh, 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 oh! There he is. <laughs> so do you have upcoming travel plans somewhere across I'm the going world? to St. Louis. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> uh, Fed Cup Tennis, it's actually the first event I ever did as an announcer that led to the U.S. Open was doing a Fed Cup event yeah. here in Springfield. Yeah. And we're doing a Fed Cup event in St. Louis April 19th and 20th, and I encourage everybody to support Team USA. They're going to be taking on France. That is really yeah. fun. And yeah. it's close to home. Yeah, that's really, actually, yeah. that's very cool. So thank you so much for coming on the Thanks show. Thanks for having me. I'm sorry uh, the whole place smells like ketchup. Yeah. But, uh, I still want to play What's in the Box. <laughs> we'll play it after the The State show. Farm version, What's in the Box. That's what I want. <laughs> we'll put it well, as a web extra. So Go to tell w my wife, because uh, that's what we're playing when we get home. <laughs> we're going to commercial. Get out of here. We'll be back in the just a Tonight's musical guest is brought to you by School of Rock. Welcome back, everybody. That last commercial. <laughs> we have a great musical guest tonight. It's a whole band, and it is the Justice Adams Band. Give it up for the Justice Adams Band. Our shine and a crooked grin. Let's have a night that we might forget. Cause you know, it's so smooth when it goes down. We'll call the girls, I'll go get the guys. We'll find a pasture land paradise. Yeah, for show. Sure. We gonna get about this town. 
Cause I don't care about the bright lights I just wanna have a good time Come on in, we'll take a short ride Sip some shine next to the firelight And some firewood Battlefield never looks so good Cause you know We're gonna tear up battleground Two o'clock still ain't had enough We'll be at it till the sun comes up If you know Where we're at they come around You ain't ever too far from us If you're willing to go some more about the bright lights I just want to have a good time Come on in We'll take a short ride Sip some shine Next to the firelight The bright lights, I just want to have a good time. Come on in, we'll take a short ride. Sit some shine next to the bottom line. We don't care about the bright lights, we just want to have a good time. Come on in, we'll take a short ride. Sit some shine next to the bottom line. We don't care about the bright lights, we just want to have a good time. Good job. Thank you very Good much. Job. Hey! That was energetic in a good way. I don't mean like a little kid. You're like, oh, he's energetic. It was good. <laughs> hey, that's the end of the show. Uh, just so you guys know, 10% of our box office proceeds tonight will go to MSU Relay for Life, a great organization. Stay tuned for another show after this one here on Fox KMBK. We'll be back next week. Catering for the show brought to you by Big Whiskey's Restaurant and Bar. Sleep tight.